External links Early life and education Leon Levenstein was born on September 20, 1910 in Buchanan, West Virginia, a small college town with a population of about 5,000. Leon began attending high school in September 1923 at Baltimore City College, which was a public college preparatory school. During his senior year in high school, he began attending evening classes at the Maryland Institute of Art in Baltimore. In the fall of 1927, after graduating from high school, he enrolled as a part-time student at the Institute, taking courses in drawing, calligraphy, and design. In his application for a 1955 Guggenheim Fellowship he mentions taking courses at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, no school records for the period could be found to confirm this, but in light of his subsequent career as a graphic artist it is reasonable to assume that he did study there, as it was primarily a commercial art school. Career His first job in advertising, with the Hecht Furniture Company in downtown Baltimore, from 1934 to 1937 he worked there as an assistant art director, doing layouts for newspaper advertisements. In the fall of 1948 he took an advanced workshop with the school's director and one of its most influential teachers, Sid Grossman. As a walker and a loner, it was only natural that Levenstein would prowl the streets of New York and the beaches of Coney Island, like numerous other photographers before him. Levenstein was studying with Grossman in 1950 when Lizette and Evsa model attended the class, and from 1954 until 1960 Levenstein was a student in Evsa model's painting workshop. In 1956 he was among six featured photographers of the annual, together with Richard Avedon, Wynne Bullock, G. E. Kidder Smith, an architectural photographer, Eugene Smith, and Brett Weston. Over the course of the decade, his work would also be in five popular photography annuals. In 1952 he was the winner of Popular Photography's International Photography Contest, with a prize of $2,000. Another supporter was Helen G., the founder of the Limelight Gallery, the first American gallery devoted solely to the exhibition and sale of photographs. In the seven years that the Limelight was open, Helen G. mounted more than 60 exhibitions, including work by Berenice Abbott, Bill Brandt, Imogen Cunningham, Robert Frank, Lizette Model, Aaron Siskind, Eugene Smith, Paul Strand, Edward Weston, and Minor White, as well as work by historical figures such as Eugene Atget and Julia Margaret Cameron. The following January, Levenstein got his own show, and G recalls that the show created a lot of excitement and a few prints were even sold. The following year she was instrumental in arranging the sale of a substantial number of prints to the art dealer Harry Lunn. In the late 70s and 80s Levenstein traveled abroad to photograph, only to return to the United States and stay in his Baltimore apartment. Harry Lunn did purchase a large group of Levenstein's photographs, and his work was being included in important exhibitions of post-war documentary photography, beginning in 1978 with new standpoints at the Museum of Modern Art. Still not widely known, Levenstein has gradually come to be acknowledged as a key figure from a very significant era of American photography. Family of Man, Museum of Modern Art prepares global collection for January opening. External links http colon slash slash www.npr.org slash section slash pictures house slash two zero one zero slash zero six slash one four slash one two seven eight three one seven two three slash Levenstein June fourteenth, two thousand and ten Leland, John http colon slash slash lens dot blogs dot new york times dot com slash two zero one two slash one two slash zero one slash recognition hyphen from hyphen the hyphen art hyphen world hyphen he hyphen shunt hyphen in hyphen life this